What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on my new compact washer. It is approximately 16 inches wide and 30 inches tall. As you can see it fits perfectly in the bathtub of my RV. This is where I'm going to be storing it and doing most of my loads of laundry and of course whenever we need the shower. This thing is extremely light. We'll just pick it up and move it out of the way so we can access the shower. It runs off a regular uh, 110 volts and it has an output of about 220 watts which is perfect because I'm going to be running my whole RV off of solar. Go ahead and show you the controls here. As you can see you've got your control panel, you got your power, then you got your start and stop, and then you got your selection button where you can select between normal, quick, delicate and soil and then you got your timer display screen and then of course you got another control button right here where you can select between soak wash rinse and spin and then your last selection but button being your water level you can go select high mid low or ex extra low and you can see you got a stainless steel tub and you also got a filter right here to catch your lint. Now I have done a couple washes and I've been surprised to see that this thing actually works and catch, catches your lint. Well we're gonna go ahead and run through a wash and show you guys how this thing works. Alright I'll be putting in the low we got a few shirts here we're gonna go ahead and throw in. One, two, three, and four. Now as you can see we got four shirts and we still got quite a bit of room. I could actually even fit probably another towel or some pants or, or something along those lines but for today we're just gonna be doing doing this. Alright now to add the the soap you really don't need a lot of lot of detergent since this is a smaller washer we'll be using a, of course less clothes and less washer. <laughs> Sorry about that less clothes and less water so you don't need that much soap. As you can see we just got a little bit of detergent in there. We'll go ahead and pour that in. There we go. Now to drain it you also have this tube on the side which for now we're just gonna take this and go ahead and lay it in here so it drains and goes down the drain. Now one of my only complaints about this washer is that that drain tube in my opinion is too short in case you want to put it up next to the sink and put it in that you'd have to extend that hose it's too short of a hose that comes with this washer now I'm going to be using my shower head okay, right there put water in here go ahead and fill that up What we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and select quick. Now what this is going to do, it's going to run it through two cycles. You're going to have the initial wash cycle and then it's going to, we're going to have to fill it back up and then it's going to do its rinse cycle, drain out and then it'll go ahead and go through its, its uh, spin cycle. So we're going to go ahead and shut the lid and press start. We'll go ahead and show you guys it washing. As you can see, it's going back and forth, and it actually cleans the clothes really well. And uh, I'm not for sure how well the camera's picking it up, but it's actually really quiet. So you could even do laundry, let it set it, and, and actually go fall asleep and let it do its thing. All right, we're going to let it do its first wash cycle here. All right, as you guys can see, we are on the the strain in the first wash cycle out into the tub. It's going to drain it out and we're going to add some more water. See it's draining down. We're going to add some more water and it's going to do it again to make sure it's got all the soap and, every, and all the dirt out and then it'll go ahead and spin dry. Now when it spins dries it gets these clothes virtually dry. We are on the second rinse cycle. I went ahead and added water. That process is the exact same with the exception of not adding soap because you're trying to get all the soap and everything off 
in the rinse cycle. And a quick note, if you didn't want to add water manually, it comes with this attachment right here where you could hook it up directly to your sink and you just screw the, the back of it in right there and it'll add the water for you. Now the whole process ain't that bad. It, it takes around approximately 20 minutes to 25 minutes to, to go through a whole load. We are on the last step of the walk of the cycle and that's the spinning cycle to dry everything. As you can see it's going pretty good. And we're going to be on this cycle for another four minutes and then we are done. We're done with our wash. We just finished our spin cycle here. Now we're completely done with this load. As you see these things are virtually dry. Now we'll just Go ahead and hang them up outside and let them finish drying. Now, if you guys are interested in a compact washer like this, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. And as always, if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.